Hey Froggy friends, Kiro Style here. Welcome back to Silent Hill 2 Remake. Thank you so much for joining me here on stream. Welcome in, everyone. CB, congratulations for being first today. Sai, welcome in. Kieran, thank you for stopping by. Ash, hello, hello. Uh, Gwinoli, it's good to see you. Thank you so much for dropping by. And Ash, congratulations on your 195 stream streak. You're almost at 200. Thank you so much. And Cole, welcome in. Thanks for calling Kirby as well. We are... Just leaving the hospital area of this game, we were looking for Laura, and we found her, and then she ran off again. Maria, on the other hand, wasn't really so lucky, and it seems that she got got by Pyramid Head. So now we're on our own again. We also appear to be in the other world version of the hospital, so it's like everything's dilapidated, and yeah, it's a good time. So we are going to go looking for Laura outside. And last time, we were doing pretty well until I reached the boss in the last stream. And I exhausted all my bullets. So we had to actually switch the difficulty down a little bit just so that I wasn't using up all my bullets on the boss. And now I've kind of succumbed to melee meta. Now I just whack everything with my pipe. And <laughs> I don't even use my bullets anymore. So we'll see. We'll see. The things, uh, the enemies seem to take the same amount of damage. But I, see, I feel like they deal less damage, so I guess we'll see how that leads us, but uh, we're doing pretty good on bullets now. We also have our shotgun, finally. So let's go and look for Laura. Surely, everything will be fine, right? Oh, I already hear an enemy. Where are you? I saw something moving. Also, where am I going? Wait, there's there's grates everywhere. I'm <laughs> just pulling up the map jump scared you, I'm sorry. There's something under the ground, I think. New enemy type. Hello? Something's here. Oh. James took out his pipe. What's what's attacking me? Oh. Okay. Well, let's go looking for items. Oh, hi! You! I hate the mannequins! Oops, no, I didn't mean to pull up my map. Medicine. Oh yeah, I also... Because I'm getting closer to the end of the game. So I think yesterday at the end of the stream, I said that I think I'll take two more streams to finish this game. I actually might need three if I take my time. But in order to start working towards the endings I want, at least if I want like the good ending, I need to look at Mary's photo at least a couple times. So I'm pretty sure we've already looked at it once. But let's look at her again. You also should look at Mary's letter. And you should not look at Angela's knife. Read. Then investigate. Okay, we'll do that a couple times during the stream today, just so that we can keep our, our good points up. Although me, me keeping James in the red HP for a long time probably didn't help. Okay, I think that Laura probably went down that street. Down towards Heaven's Night, maybe? We haven't been down there. Okay, there's an enemy somewhere here. Oh, hi. You, go away. You. Bad. Bad. So rude. Ooh, bullets, thank you. Someone's still here. Oh, there's a giant gaping hole in the ground there. Oh wait, there's an enemy over there. Oh, it's a nurse. Okay, well this is just a giant chasm. I can't go this way. 
I don't need to kill the enemies. Oh god. I don't need to kill the enemies out here, but I feel like I should. Just because... Oh, out, out. Oh, look at that dodge. That dodge was beautiful. No, 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 no. It, it's spider. I need to kill the spider. Oh, ow. That was very rude of you. Did anyone teach you manners? Bug. Okay, I think that's all the enemies then. I, I don't hear anything anymore. Okay, break the window. James. Thank you. I see a car in this game, I have to smash it open. There's no exception. Uh, wait, this one's protected by an invinci invincible sheet of fabric. I hear an enemy. Is there a new type of enemy around here? There must be. Oh, it must be a bug. I hear a bug. Can't see it though. Where is it? I heard that these bugs are actually from Silent Hill 1, like they're a reference to an enemy or a, a character from Silent Hill 1. Oh hi, there you are. Which is why they're, there's still enemies in this game, but they're not really as dangerous. Because we're done with Silent Hill 1. Well, we're not, but like, the universe is. Okay, I like the knife nurses, they're easy to dodge. The ambient noise is scarier than what's actually happening right now. Okay, we're good. All's good in the neighborhood. It's a bug. Yup. Pesky spiders. I feel like there should be more items around here. I gotta watch out for those mannequins too, because they don't set off my spidey sense. What? But hey, hey, hey! That was rude. Get off me! I can't even see you. Oh, you get the bullet. You get the bullet. You get the bullet. That was so mean. Oh, bug. I'm like out of <laughs> pills. But I have so many syringes left. Do the bugs have like human faces on them? I think they kind of have like a human face design. I never really get a good look at them. Oh, hi. You. You're so weird. No, James, aim at the floor. You fool. It's so fast. Ugh, I hate that. They're so creepy. I see some ammo. Get what I can. Okay, where are we? Oh, we're going back towards the club. In the theater. Go this way. Wait, I think this is the way to go. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. There's more than one enemy, I should be careful. There's a bug. I hate the mannequins. Wait, there's another one. Think you're slick, huh? No, you're not. Thank you for the shotgun shells, I appreciate it. 
Ooh, I got six ammo from that. Okay, I'm net, net positive after using up the ammo. Okay, sweet. Where am I trying to go? Are there any more items? Come on, James. Do it! Do it! Why? Why? James? This window's invincible, apparently. Yeah, well, I don't see anything inside. Oh, don't just scare me with the big boom in the background, gosh. Who's up whistling? An enemy. Is it a bug? Hear something. Where are you? Oh, hi. Okay, I'm getting really good at beating down these enemies. They gave me so much trouble last stream. Now I'm so good at it. I hear the skittering of a bug. I hate the bugs because it's like, I don't want to take damage from a tiny little, little insect. Hear it. Where's the bug? Oh, there you are. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, hey, you still hit me. That's not fair. Aw, oh, come on, you don't fake me out with a fake first aid kit, come on. Are we good? Thank you. Again, I can't believe I can break through walls like this, even if there's cracks in them, it's just insane. Well, thanks, I guess. Well, this is a safe room, right? It doesn't look safe. Yeah. I'm so glad the mannequins, the enemy mannequins, all look identical. Like, they don't, there aren't, like, different mannequins, because then I'd be wary of these guys. Which the game should have done, but... Whatever. Save on new slot. Oh, hey, Laura. Laura, stop! It's dangerous! Yeah, Laura, stop. It's dangerous. There's dangerous people around. Like me. Okay, that's just the sound of water. I don't want to get surprised by another mannequin. Oh, hi. Speaking of which... Oh, that was so smooth. That was so smooth. I'm getting so good at this. I'm, I'm impressed with myself. I guess it helps that there's only like a few enemy types in this game. So once you learn how to deal with each of them, it's not as bad. I hear a bug. Hey Angora, welcome to the stream. Yeah, I'm going on a bonking spree. It's a bug. Yeah, 
I think we're clear. And here, here's me saying I'm not gonna kill all the enemies to save on ammunition, and I'm just beating them all with my pipe. Games won't climb on the car until it like goes into like the right location. Hello, nurse. I think she sees me yet. I don't care. Oh. Uh, you can't get me. I'm too slippery. Huh? You want some? You want some of this? You want some of this? Yeah! 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 Oh, oh, wait, how did you get a cap closer? What the heck? You see that? Silent Hill ain't so scary, once you have a, a lead pipe in your hand. Hey Monk, welcome to the stream. Yes, you came into the stream seeing what I do best, smashing things. I'm very good at it. Oh, there's an enemy. Is it a bug? I hear it. Oh, hi. No. No, no, no. No bug. We need a cure with the lead pipe emote. I mean, if I if I could in this game, I would beat them with my fists. It just doesn't let me. There's another enemy. Oh, it's a bug. I hate it when my flashlight flickers. It doesn't do it often, but it does once in a while. Ooh, medicine. Thank you. There's something in here. Hello. Fight me out here, it's easier. No, especially when there's multiples. Oh, did you see that dodge? Oh, I'm so good at dodging. How come this guy didn't explode? There's more. There's a bug in here. Here. Thank you. Oh, fake medicine box again. You'd be really mean as if they booby trap some of these items. I mean, they kind of did that at the beginning of the game, where I went out of my way to go into some dead ends with items, but those items would be guarded by an enemy. So I would just get take I would just take damage trying to pick up an item and ultimately end up with a net zero. Wait, is this Neely's bar? Oh no, it's not. It's a Lakeside Diner. Yeah, all right. Neely Neely's bar looks very different. Wait, are you an enemy? Oh, you're an enemy. Actually, you know what? I see you. I'm just gonna hit you with my pipe. Oh, thank you for opening the door for me. That was very kind of you. Oh, Jesus. Scared me. 
I thought it was a new type of enemy. See, they need more, like, things like that. Just things in the environment that will kind of scare you, keep you on edge. Where am I? Hey, Fate, welcome to the stream. Thanks for stopping by. Well, thanks for calling Kirby. Hey, Kirby. Don't worry, I'll protect you. Actually, Kirby don't need no protecting. He's strong. Okay, there's an enemy there. Any items? Oh, hi, I see you, I see you. I knew there'd be a slither around here. I still know what those are called. And here comes Kiro with the lead pipe. I can't see, why is my camera going crazy? The camera got stuck on this truck. Any hidden enemies? That looked like a cinematic beatdown? Thank you. I'm getting better at this. Gotta get my dynamic- Oh, I see you. I see you. No, ow, how dare you? How dare you get a hit on me? How dare you? So rude. Kiro last stream. I'm not gonna beat up all the enemies I come across. Kiro this stream. I'm gonna get every single one of ya. There's no hiding. Best defense is a good offense, right? I don't see any enemies, that's suspicious. Gotta check around all the corners for those mannequins. They're the worst. It's distracting too, because in the rain, your controller vibrates with the pitter patter of the rain. So I can't depend on the vibrating to suss out enemies. As far as I know in this game, I think the number of enemies is fixed. Because also the number of health items and ammunition is also fixed. So it'd be mean if they <laughs> gave you a ton of enemies and then didn't give you extra ammunition. It's not like Resident Evil where they give you like dynamic difficulty, where it's like, oh you're killing a lot of enemies quickly, here's some more ammunition. Uh, they don't do that in this game to my knowledge. It'd be cool though, I think. But maybe it'd be mean too, because this game is definitely harder to fight in. Not really supposed to, you're, you're not really supposed to be going around killing everything, I just got really good at it, I guess. I'm trying to look under the cars to make sure there's no enemies. I see some ammo. Yeah, to my knowledge, in Silent Hill 2, the amount of enemies you kill does not affect your ending. I think, like, yeah, so in Downpour, Silent Hill Downpour, it does, but not in this game. In this game, it's a few other things, like, are you keeping your health up? 
How much time do you spend with Maria? How many times do you look at Mary's photo? Actually, let's look at Mary's photo now. There's a couple cutscenes that if you activate by accident, they'll put you on certain ending, or more likely on certain ending paths. My wife! What? what? I don't remember why I got the handkerchief. I mean, I got it, but I don't remember what it's for. Yeah. We won't talk about the endings too much. Because I know some people haven't played this game yet, or the original, so we'll keep it a little bit of a, a surprise. I've alluded to a couple things I'm doing because I actually kind of know which ending I want, but other than that, I'm not going to talk about it too much. Which way am I going? Well, that's a dead end. There's no enemies though, that's a so that's so suspicious. I hear something. Okay, there's no more houses. Where am I? I'm like off the map. Oh, there's Laura. Laura, please wait. No car is safe from James. This area is not marked on the map. Just as Laura. Oh, great, this place is very dark. It is extremely dark. Even my flashlight doesn't help. I don't like this. I gotta get attacked by something. Something's here. I can't see. My light is flashing! I can't see anything. I guess I'll just keep walking forward until something attacks me. Oh, okay, we're outside again. And here I thought we'd be inside a building for a while. Wait, where am I? Oh, I'm back on this side of the map. Well, she's leading me on quite the merry chase. Laura? Where did she go? Oh, it also stopped raining. He who is not bold enough to be stared at from across the abyss is not bold enough to stare into it himself. The truth can only be learned by marching forward. Follow the map. There's a letter and a wrench. an enemy.
what's coming at me, eh? So it better not just be a spider. I bet this is a dead end, but let's see if there's any items. Oh, hi. Oh, hey, hello. Hey, 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 get back here. I have a nice lead pipe for you. Wait, back off, back off. Oh, it wasn't an exploding one. Kind of hard to tell sometimes when you're in the other world. Hello? Oh, hi. Do they want me to go into this building? Oh, you! I hate the mannequin so much! Great, I took a hit, but I got some medicine, so I undid that. Sweet. Oh, and I got a syringe. I have so many syringes. I need to climb up here. Hey, are we welcome to the stream? Thanks for coming. Fly. Whoa, what the heck? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Duck and weave. Oh, how did I dodge that one? I was very lucky. Okay, so I can climb through this window. Go here first. There's something here. You missed! You missed! Oh! How did you hit me like that? Oh, good old syringe. Good old rusty needle. Looks like the game wants me to go this way, which means that this must be a secret. Right? Maybe not. Can't tell. I mean, if I go through that window, I can't go back. Maybe if I go this way. Kind of hard to tell. Actually, Laura went this way, I'm sure. Definitely enemies in that building. Okay, let's go this way. Something in here with me. Better not just be a bug. Oh hi, I hear you. You're under the truck. <coughs> okay, 
Okay, nurse, come over here. Got the mannequin too. Gosh, I can't see. You still hit me. I hate these things. There's still something else in here. Why did I even come in here? All I got was like one bullet. And then I used it. It's a bug. Where are you? Oh, hi. Oh, I need to reload. Why'd I come back here? There's nothing. That was pointless. There's a bug. Squish. Okay, I seem to have progressed into the next area. Where am I? Oh, maybe I should have gone that other way. Oh well. The only the annoying thing about being outdoors is there's so many places to... Like nooks and crannies to... Oh, you still hit me? After I was so careful? There's just so many nooks and crannies to like look for things. And the street is so wide. It gets easier to fight things out here, but... Hey Timbit, welcome to the stream. Thanks for stopping by. Oh, are we- oh, we're back at Neely's, right? Yes, we are. Yeah, I recognize this location now. Oh dang it, there must have been a secret over there. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. Secrets in this game are just extra bullets and medicine. Probably could have squeezed through the, the crack in the fence over there. Oh no, the crack in the fence is over there. Oh, I bet I could take in both routes. Surprise attack! What the fuck? <laughs> Thank you for the stretch, Sai. Appreciate it. Big preesh. Ow, how'd you hit me? 
I guess the surprise attack really does do more damage, because that other nurse only took a couple hits. Hello. I like how the second I start aiming at them, the mannequin just knows that I've caught onto them. Another enemy. I think they're outside. Oh, I can't see around the corner. Oh, you hit me! That's so rude! Actually, I took a lot of hits there. Oh, hi. Oh, no! No, 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 no! It must be because of the syringe, because I think every time I take one of these, I, I get out of the red, but I'm probably like just above the red. But here, I'd probably like go to full, however much that is. I really wish I can kind of see a numerical value. I mean, I guess that adds to the horrors. I can't see my HP. Oh, I'm here. Okay. Hello. Yeah, that's what I thought. How did you just scream? You don't have a mouth. So if I crawled through the fence, I would have ended up here. So in other words, I came over here and killed all those things for no reason. Okay. Well, I didn't waste too many bullets. It's just me keeping Silent Hill a safer place. somewhere. I think it's just a bug. Hello? Aha! I see you. It's a good thing the bugs kind of stand out because they're like yellow. Ooh, a medicine bottle. I like the sound of picking it up. Bloop. How come it's so hard to break these windows? Like they're floating too high above the ground or something. Oh, hi, 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 hi. I much prefer using the bullets on the mannequins than the nurses now. It used to be the other way around. Stop squirming. Hello? You okay there? You alright? You okay? I'll just leave you be. Bye for the better. Did I smash this car up? Nope. That's how I know I've been somewhere. <laughs> Are the cars smashed up already? You know what, actually... Wait, oh, I already killed you. Okay, never mind. It's almost wasted a bullet. Who's breathing? Okay, 
I'm not going to examine that text because I'm pretty sure that's also a point towards another ending that I don't want, but we can read it from here. If you really want to see Mary, you should just die. But you might be heading to a place... To a something place than Mary, James. Better place? Recent place. Decent place. Either way, I'm not going to read that because... I don't want that ending. Who's breathing down my neck? Darth Vader? Is that you? It's a bug. I think it's outside though. <laughs> it's kind of neat how sometimes when you enter an area, you'll see the mannequin get up and then move so you know to look out for it. Like it's kind of nice of the game to do that. Ran this way, right? Oh. Oh, I see you slithering. What oh, is a bug? I'm not even sure if that was a mannequin I saw. It might have been a the Slytherin dude I just saw getting away. Wait, there you are. You know what? Actually, you know what? You're you're being docile. Oh, never mind. I was gonna let you live, but you leave me no choice now. Where's that slithering dude? Seriously, where's the slithering dude? Was it, were you the slithering dude? Squeeze through the crack in the door? I don't think enemies could go through those cracks. Quite a bit of damage there. It's kind of mean. Very tight space for a fight. And there's a bug. I hate how R3 on the controller also toggles your flashlight because I will press it by accident when moving my camera around. Oh, the phone's ringing. Just a minute. Gotta check for items. Is that a payphone outside? It is. 
It's not in here. There it is. Okay, just a minute. I'm gonna look around for items. You just keep ringing for a little bit. Okay, where am I? Pyramid head, you gotta talk. You gotta speak up. Or perhaps you are a fool. The truth usually betrays people. You should know. The key is in the park. The feet of the praying woman. The wrench will open the gate. The key will let loose the abyss. Dang, this outdoor section of the game is quite long. I thought I was gonna like immediately go into another area. I guess it's a nice change of pace. The, the indoor areas are so claustrophobic. So the knife and the wrench are supposed to be in this building? I can't get in. I keep thinking those little like wisps of fog are like Whisk, whisk of smoke are like enemies crawling around. How do I get in there? I need to go around. I'll be taking this. That's what you get for leaving your medication in unbarred store windows. Oh, I gotta go through here. Or do I? The mailbox was an enemy. I thought it was a mannequin. Wait, there's a photo in there. They're here. That's not ominous at all. No way this place doesn't have an enemy in it. There's no shot. Or maybe. I thought that door would put it open.
Seriously though, how do I get that letter and wrench? I haven't seen an enemy in a while, that's suspicious. I'm annoying checking everything on both sides of the street. I hear a goopy. I'm so cautious in this game, I'm checking everything. I've watched, I, I've checked some other streamers play this game, and there's a couple of them that play it at a similar pace to me, like the amount of time they spend in each area is very similar to the amount of time I spend in each area, but there's a couple of people I've seen that blast through the areas I've been, like, they just sprint through, they just get everything done, don't check all the corners, don't fight any, don't fight all the enemies. Like, I saw someone do the hospital area in, like, under two hours. I took, like, almost five hours to go through there. It's a little embarrassing. But again, the game's made for everyone to play it their own way, so... Not really something to be embarrassed about, but... In general, with horror games, I tend to be a bit more cautious and check everything. So my playthroughs definitely are longer than... ...others. Door that wakes in darkness, opening into nightmares. Yeah, I feel like I shouldn't leave this area until I get this letter and wrench. Keys in the park at the feet of the praying woman. The wrench will open the gate, the key will loose the abyss. Follow the map, there's a lynch and a ret and a letter. I'm gonna check out that wrench and letter area again, because I unless I don't think they were talking about the phone call. I just don't want to have to run back here later. Well, that's the sound of the flickering light. Unless I have to go through here somehow. This door doesn't open. Oh, the wrench was... I just didn't pick it up. I just assumed the cutscene would pick up whatever I needed. Well, that was dumb. I thought I was pointing at the building. You would think- and he picked up, like, something- he picked up the letter from the cutscene, so I just assumed he picked up everything he needed from that... phone. Now it's too quiet. Okay, safe station. I can take that. Oh, I needed it for this anyways, okay. It's so dark. Where am I? Oh, okay. Oh, 
I don't like this, it's too dark, I can't see. Oh, there's an enemy underneath the ground. What do you what do I do about you? Can I hit you? Oh. I try to shoot it, it just roars at me. Oh never mind, I got it. Is, is that doing anything? Oh hi. You have a tongue. I don't think I can kill you. I feel like you're just gonna hang out there. How many bullets do I have? I don't want to waste them. 146. I guess I just have to run. Oh, hi. Well, they can't get me when I'm standing over here. Well, I guess they can if their tongue thing lashes out far enough. Ah, hello. Okay, so if I see a grate I need to walk over, I should be careful. Are we at the park already? Oh. Oh, he still has the garage jack marked off. We never got it. I don't want to explore the park too much in the dark. Too many bases for enemies to hide. I'm just going to walk towards my objective. Maybe not. Let's see, it's too tempting to go look for items. Patrick Chester, son of Edward. He fought and died for the people, for liberty, and for all our tomorrows. His memory lives on. Yeah, so this is where you're supposed to get the information for that trivia quiz. When we came here the first time with Maria. Hey, there aren't any items. I think I just walked in a circle. Oh, item. I think I read this in already in the in the fog world. Hey, welcome to the stream. Just a reminder too for people that might be new around here, uh, if you don't know someone too well I would advise against using, you know, potentially insulting little pet names or nicknames for them. Because if I don't know you too well it just kind of comes off as being a little demeaning. Things like smelly and stinky. Maybe it's fine to call your friends that once you're close enough, but calling a stranger that is kind of... comes across badly. Yeah, no problem. I just thought I'd let you know. Where's that door I saw earlier? Here. Oh. 
an item in here? I don't want to get attacked. Where am I going? No enemies here. I think. Okay, I'm almost in the circle. Oh. Hey. Are you... Are you feeling better? This place is different from what I remember. I guess... Things never really stay the same, do they? Well, yeah, I guess not. I don't... I don't... think she's here anymore, James. She doesn't... She doesn't want to see me anymore. Why would you think that? Anyway, I'm happy to see you. Are you happy to see her? Happy to see me? Alive, I mean. Oh. Yeah. I better get going. You still don't want me to go with you? stick together we might just make it out of here out of where this town silent hill no it's fine You didn't happen to see a little girl around here, did you? A little girl? Yeah, I... The yeah. face he's making. Are you alright? Angela? No. Please. It's okay. No, don't touch me! Yeah, I agree. I really like the VA for Angela. She kind of cap she perfectly captures like the sad, melancholic, but also a little bit awkward and like weird. Like, the off-putting Silent Hill part? It really makes you wonder, though, how are Angela and Eddie running around this town and not... Like, I know... Canonically, how Silent Hill works, but... I just can't imagine them going around and actually... Successfully evading or... Taking down monsters. <laughs> Maybe they just don't have as many monsters as James. Lore is a different story, but... My patient buried it here. I knew but did nothing. It made me uneasy to have such a thing near. 
I wasn't looking for the truth. I was looking for tranquility. I also saw that thing. I fled, but the old society was sealed. No one dares to approach that place. Now I offer you the key. If you still do not wish to stop, James, I pray to the Lord to have mercy on your internal soul. <laughs> the, the, the key in the box was specifically made for me. Okay. I'm going to go over here to see if there's items. I feel like there's no monsters around here. Probably no items either. So the historical society, we almost walked there in the fog world. Actually, are we back in the fog world now? It kind of looks like we are. I think when we passed through that tunnel, it changed when it stopped raining. But yeah, we almost walked to the historical society in daylight. Then I turned back because I knew we'd be going there later. I guess now's the time. Not a single item? No little treat for the little old James? A little me? Oh, item. Oh, it's a photo. So far from home. Not even an ice cream cone? Come on. Come on. So if we are indeed back in the in the fog world, that means I would have collected all the items in these areas already. means I shouldn't dilly-dally. Actually, you know how I can tell? If I walk past a car and the windows are smashed, then I'll know. I've been here before. Yep, the windows are smashed. We're good. I knew that was a good idea. It's a very long road to the historical society. Wait, what? why is this marked? Octantus Fuels. Why does that place have an exclamation mark? And if we are indeed in the fog world, I killed the enemies on this road already, unless they respawn them. I haven't seen any dead bodies though, so... I go check out the Octantus Fuels? Too dark. Oh, there's some items I didn't pick up. Wait, I, I broke this car, but not the other one? Can I go in here? No. It's telling me that there's like an item here. I guess it doesn't really matter if it's not a key item. Oh! Well, now I gotta go all the way back there. I 
use the car jack. Okay, but at least I think the enemies are clear. I kind of wish you can put up like a mini map. I mean, it'd be distracting if I was indoors, but outdoors would be very useful. I can't see anything. I hope you're enjoying getting your cardio in, James. Bosh knows you need it. You don't sprint when you're in a boss fight. Mass layoffs at Brookhaven Hospital threaten the institution's future. Oh, I, I should have gotten this before we went to the hospital. The layoffs we reported on last month are continuing. Over 10 people have been let go, which has reduced the hospital staff by more than half. If the situation does not improve, staff shortages will put patients at risk. Brookhaven is a hospital with a long history. It was established in 1810 when a deadly epidemic swept through Silent Hill area. Ever since, it has incessantly brought help to the residents of the town. However, more and more have made their voices heard of how the presence of a psychiatric hospital in the middle of town has a negative impact on the local community. Residents fear that an incident from two years ago might repeat itself. Oh, is this where the 1810? I think that was one of the quiz answers. So many items in here. Hey Luke, welcome to the stream. Who's stopping by today? Oh, so many items. Yes. I was at like two health drinks earlier, now I have like 11. Okay, now we gotta run all the way back. Is it better without the light? No. That makes no difference. Okay, wow, we spent like an hour and a half just wandering around outside before getting to the next dungeon. This is past the point where we haven't been yet, right? Wait, there's another building there. Pete's Bolorama. Do I need to go into Pete's Bolorama? I think I do. Does the road just keep going? Surely not. We also haven't encountered a monster in a while. Oh, I wasn't expecting that to open. Is that the only entrance? Oh, 
front entrance works too. Okay, very suspicious. Doesn't look like there's any enemies in here either. Come on, James, take a drink or something from the vending machine. Surely you're thirsty. There's really nothing here. I think we have to come back here later, anyways. It'd be funny if there's like a bunch of mannequins just at the end of the bowling lane. Just like hiding out and they look like bowling pins. No car is safe from me. Oh, I see some ammo. Hey, the game's like, oh, you've had a lot of enemies lately. Let's give you a little break time and a bunch of items to pick up so you can replenish and get ready for the next. Man, they really expanded some of these areas. You can wonder the length of the game more than doubled with the remake. Place seems pretty clear. The new clock. Little Baroness, the maiden voyage of 1916. Lady of the Light, the unveiling of one of two statues commemorating the local folk tale. Right, that was the story that Maria told us. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I was like, what are you hunting about? It's him. Why is Pyramid Head... Like... Wielding a sword? Like he usually has like a cleaver or a spear. It looks like he's ready to duel someone. <laughs> Misty day remains of the judgment. Like he looks like he's ready to challenge someone to a, like a one-on-one -on -one duel. Title unknown, author unknown. Waterfront Landscape, Alan Smith, date of birth and death unknown, a depiction of the local area. The style indicates it was done sometime around the 1820s when the region was far less populated with sparse infrastructure. Silent Hill Historical Society Founders.
Oh, it's a long one. Among the local legends is that of the Lady of the Lake. The story tells of a woman who was accused and found guilty of witchcraft. As punishment, she was taken to a small island out on the lake, a minuscule stretch of rocky soil, devoid of any food or shelter. There, she was to suffer a slow, excruciating death as her body succumbed to cold and hunger. However, unbeknownst to the rest of the townsfolk, there was a young man among them who, having gazed into the woman's eyes, as bright and beautiful as a midsummer's moon, had vowed undying love for her. When she was convicted, wrongly as he believed, he swore that he would not let her suffer such a cruel fate. While waiting for an opportunity to abscond with his beloved, every night he would sneak out and row across the lake, bring her food and something to keep her warm. And every night the woman would stand there, on the shore, holding a lit candle to help him find his way. Then one night, when the sky was exceptionally clear, devoid of even a wisp of cloud, the young man set out on his nightly escapade. As always, he would look out into the distance, looking for the light in the darkness that would lead him to his beloved. On that night, however, the moon shone so bright and so vibrant, stronger than any candle could. Seeing the light's reflection in the water, the young man was led astray. He rode and rode and rode, following the reflected light, hoping against hope he could reach it. He did not care for his aching arms or the shortness of his breath, utterly mesmerized by the illusory light. When his boat tipped over, the man was so exhausted from rowing, so weakened were his arms that he was not able to swim to shore. Thus, he succumbed to a watery grave. Although left alone, the woman on the island never lost hope. She kept looking out at night and kept lighting the candle. The legend says that those looking for true love can see the lady's light out on the lake, shining to bring her beloved home. While the story is clearly meant as a metaphor and a cautionary tale, it is to a certain extent rooted in reality, as the area has indeed seen its share of religious persecution, such as that of... Hey Juan, welcome to the stream! Thanks for stopping by today. Well, that's an ominous picture. Who painted all these paintings? Half of them are very creepy. Hey, look at this. Like, I guess this one's okay. Name scratched over illegible. Former director of Brookhaven Hospital. Brookhaven Hospital, 1880. The hospital was built in response to a great plague that followed a wave of immigration to the area. Originally, it was little more than a shack, but has since expanded into a fully-fledged medical establishment. Wilts Coal Mine, established around 1850, but remained operational until the early 1900s. The mine played a key role in the revitalization of Silent Hill. Why is there just like a dark staircase at the back of the historical society? This would be a horrible place to be attacked. It's so narrow. Thank goodness my flashlight doesn't have a battery either. Oh my god, how long is the staircase? It just keeps going. Seriously, how long is this thing? I have to climb back up this later, wouldn't you, James? <laughs> Into the abyss. Toluca Prison, September 11, 1820. Prisoner number C221. Hey, Kant Higginbana! Welcome to the stream! Thank you so much for the raid! Hello everyone, welcome in! Oh hey Ditsonol, it's good to see you! Hope you guys are all doing well today. Please go check out our friend Kant Higginbana. They're a really, really amazing streamer, and they have a very handsome VTuber model. You gotta go check them out. And awesome gamer with a cool, cool uh, community. Please go check them out. Let's write you a shout out. While I'm at it. 
that's not how you spell your name. There you go. Yeah, go please go check out cons. They're really amazing. How are you today? What were you streaming? Did you have a good time? I'm Kiro, the frog theme martial artist. We're playing some Silent Hill 2 remake. We just entered the Toluca prison. And it looks like <laughs> looks like we're in for a fun time. <laughs> Hope you guys are all doing well today. Uh, feel free to sit back and relax, or go take care of yourself after your stream. I really appreciate you being here and sharing your community with me. Ooh, more syringes, love that. Love me some rusty needles. Surely nothing can go wrong, right? Flickering lights. Cool. Cool. Hello. I don't I don't wanna get spit on, so you know what you can pull it. Okay, so they're not exploding anymore, so we're not in the other world anymore. Yep, spooky gains for a spooky month. That's how I do things around here. At least until we finish this game, then we have to go on to Metaphor Refantasio. I already picked up my copy, but I was gonna play it today, but I didn't think we would I didn't think Silent Hill 2 was gonna be so long. Yeah, I need a map of the area. Someone give me a map, please. Oh, this looks great. Crimson and white banquet for the gods. Oh, great. Lovely. Death by skewering. An execution at the prison. Death by skewering or strangling. To choose his death is a prisoner's last taste of freedom. Oh, so they get to choose whether they get skewered or strangled. Oh, that's awful. Why would you paint a painting about this? To look at prison camp. Built in 1862, the camp was used to house prisoners during the American Civil War. Converted into to, into Toluca Prison in 1866. Oh great, I get to jump down a pit! Of no return. Oh, I like that. I already went down a staircase of forever, and I had to jump down this? James. Don't tell me you look at this and you're like, ooh, an opportunity. Can't even see the bottom. Well, here we go. Well, I get to press the button again to jump. Oh, I get to press the cover button again. Just to be sure that he's sure. It's like when you stick your hand in the holes in the wall, it's like... They ask you like three times. Great, I was cushioned by this pile of rocks and bricks. It looks like I could break that wall or this wall. Oh, or this one. Wait, there's three walls I can break. I'll break them one at a time, because otherwise I'm not going to remember which one I go through until I get the map. I'm pretty sure there's no water enemies in this game unless they added something new. I think that'd be kind of cool though, but also awful. Wait, unless they have those like squirming guys in the water. Then I should see the ripples, right? 
I need a map really badly. Wait, they are in the water. See, I, he was covered in red, so I just assumed he would explode, but he didn't. Did I just choose poorly, and like the map was actually in one of the other things that I should have walls I should have broken down? That's just a dead end. Oh, is this the other wall I could have broken? I think. Oh no, it's not. This is just an empty room. Oh, this... What is this? Hey Danger, welcome to the stream! Thanks for stopping by. Oh, I was like, oh, what? why is there a red light? Okay, there's a red light bulb. Hope we're doing well today. Thanks for dropping in. What is this? Oh, I gotta open this thing. Okay, so this is a dead end now. Should I try this one or this one? I think when I woke up, I was facing this one. So that would imply that maybe this one is the one that I'm supposed to go through for the map. Wait, this is just an empty wall. Okay, so maybe... So, okay, that was just empty. Wait, so what do I do? So like we start off the game with like a like a wooden plank with nails in it. And then we upgrade it to like the iron or lead or steel pipe or whatever. <laughs> It'd be funny if you get it an upgrade again. Like you just straight up get a sword. That'd be hilarious. Where do I go? So by pure chance I just happened to find the the right exit, first time. Uh, it sucks I don't have a map in this area. Like the most useful thing was that he kept marking off where all the items were. I'm trying to see if there's any like Area so I can break the wall. Must be something in here. Wait, what? That wasn't there. Was that there before? Maybe I just didn't see it. Spiral writing key. Wait, why did my light go off? Oh god. Oh, it's okay. Ew. Okay. Does this have something on it? The cylinder is engraved with the text, Tis doubt which leadeth thee to purgatory. Does this thing have a number on it? How do I... Do I just look at the... Bloody letters? Are the three yellow things like you only have like three tries? Because I don't want to waste a try.
Yeah. This would suck. How do I get out of here? God, I don't like the sound of that, but it's better than hearing the... What, they, they respawn? Oh, never mind, okay, I thought my light flickered and... Oh god, the enemies do respawn! Yeah, I think we need to consult the guy to Reno. Oh, so apparently in the original game, I'm not sure if it's in this one too, like, the, the puzzle here is that there's a keypad on the wall, but there's no hints about what the passcode is. Only three of the keys actually work, it's a, and it's visibly a three-digit code. Basically, you just have to brute force it until you open it while you have to fend off the waves of the bugs, and your health is slowly sapped by being st by standing in the roaches. Which, I'm not sure if that is actually happening, but I have- I switched the difficulty down, so maybe they're just doing less damage. So basically there's... 9... 2, 3 is the answer on light and standard puzzle difficulty. But on hard mode, it's randomized, so you have to try all six combinations. That's kind of mean. Okay. 9, 2, 3. Wait, but it said it worked. Did he change it? Ow! Stop it! 9, 2, 3. 2, oh, do I really have to try all the combinations? Oh my god, stop it! But I, I tried the combination that said it was right. Ah! Sucks. So, okay, so this, this guy lied. Wait. This guy lied. I'm on normal difficulty and it was not 923. Okay, well, I didn't take too much damage from that, but still. That was just a mean puzzle. Yeah, it must be random, but this guide says that on normal and easy puzzle difficulty, it's always 923, so they clearly got that wrong. It's supposed to only be random for, for hard mode. Okay, well, I guess we're gonna jump James again. How deep are you in this prison right now? Who knows? <laughs> Wait a second. Is that a body? When I switched to my shotgun, okay. Well, that dead body can wait just a little bit. That was a mean puzzle, though. I'm not even really sure I call it a puzzle. You get down here. Gun to their head and... Eddie. How oh. did you get down here? Uh, 
Did you jump down the pit Hi, too? James. Twice? Where'd you get the gun? What happened here? How'd you lock the gate that? behind you when you jumped? I don't know. It just came at me. Okay. So he attacked you. And you shot him. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. He made me do it. Okay, calm down. Hey. Any idea why he would do that? I don't know. He came out of nowhere. He tried sneaking up on me in the dark. I heard footsteps, so I turned back and he was right there. And you could tell that he wanted to hurt you. Well, yeah, I mean, the way he looked at me, I just had to do it. He looked at you. I thought you said he came at you. Yeah, I mean... I mean, he could do both. I could see it in his eyes. His eyes. He kept looking at me. Making fun of me. I told him not to, but uh, he didn't listen. Eddie, you can't... You can't just kill someone because the way they looked at you. Maybe you should stop looking at him. <laughs> you should see your face, James. I was just joking. The guy was dead when I got here. I got you, didn't I? Oh, haha. -ha. You're hilarious. Anyway. I better get going. It's just a prank, bro. You're gonna go out there alone? Yeah. Eddie is definitely way more unsettling than Angela. <laughs> Oh, Eddie, you didn't pick up these bullets. Well, I'll just take them instead. At least he wasn't eating melted strawberry ice cream Winnie the Pooh style again, so... Oh, a safe room. Another gun? Is this a rifle? They still haven't found him. Since he had the cabinet key, we should sue one of the prisoners got his hands on it. Get the spare from the witness checkpoint and secure the rifle before it falls into the wrong hands. Well, I am the right hands. Oh, I was like, is there a face in that cabinet? And it, there was. Oh, thank goodness, a map. Wait, how many floors are there? One, two... Wait. Three, wait. Oh no, each section has more than one map? Oh, this sucks. Oh, this place is huge. But each section looks kind of small. And you want? I'm more confident in my combat abilities now. I like how all the ammo is just named after different birds. Can Resident Evil do that too? Again, I'm always surprised when a door like that opens. What am I looking at? Hey, Yas! Welcome to the stream! Thanks for stopping by.
the heaviest weight. Where are you? Oh, hi. Wait, so now you're exploding, which means we're in the other world again. Syringe. The prisoners do not feel remorse. In fact, they do not feel themselves to be sinful at all. Even the simplest of them will try to shield themselves from the Lord's gaze with what little words they know. And so they dream blissfully, the sinners that they are. For no matter how foul and loathsome one's existence may be, human nature abides. Ooh, you crawl on the walls. No, I don't like that. Now I have to look at the ceilings, too. We kind of predicted this last stream. I didn't think it would come true, though. I hate the mannequins. As I hate the mannequins already. I should have shot it when I had the chance. There's a cooldown on the light. Well, maybe, maybe it doesn't. Maybe it's not that it attacks from the ceiling. Maybe it's that it doesn't like the light. Oh gosh. Maybe that. Maybe it's not that it attacks from the ceiling. It's the ceiling seems too high. Oh god, I didn't even see you. Did I pick up the medicine? I thought I saw a medicine bottle. Gosh darn it. What was the point of crawling in here? I want to check all of these. This is really annoying. Okay, at least all not all these can open. Okay. Hear you. It sounds like he's like right next to me. He must be in the other room. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna clear out the hall, the main hallway first. Oh, 
hi. Oh, come on. Thought I had you. I don't think that guy that climbed up on the ceiling is coming back down. I thought they were introducing like a new enemy to me that... They could like climb... And get me from the ceiling, which would have been awful. Why'd I do that? Honestly, those ceiling enemies would be kind of cool. If awful, but cool. It's even worse because they're the mannequins, which means that I can't detect them with my radio. Again, I'm so surprised every time one of those doors opens. I gotta finish block B first. This is where I might, it might have been useful to have Maria with me. She could just stand by the switch and just keep chunking it. I like the mannequins because sometimes they die and they make sounds like spiders, and sometimes they die and they make sounds like, like people. I've already been through here. This is awful, I can't see a thing. Am I supposed to be able to see a thing in here? I bet I have to do something. Oh, there's a there's a room here. That I can't get into. Go down into the darkness. Oh, never mind. Oh, I really have to go into the yard? Like that? I can't see anything. What if I kerchunk the lights and then run into the yard? Nope, that does not help at all. See, the worst part is if I walk through the yard, I won't be able to. 
find my way out. Just trace the wall, I guess. Too quiet in here, I don't like it. Something there. Okay, the, well at least the door is glowing red. Oh, the yard is like a bunch of gallows. The second I pull that, something's gonna happen. Pull ye but once on a rope's frayed end. Choose the one justified from among the damned. Seek out their tales, think upon each sin, or let blind fate choose, let the judgment begin. Oh, I think I know what this is. And I don't like it. Let me just let me just double check before I make a decision that I might have to. Well not to say I can't come back from, but. Oh, I, I think I'm actually supposed to do something in the previous room. This thing's moving when my pause screen is out. I don't like that. Oh, okay. There's, so, there's supposed to be something here. I don't like that. They keep... Oh, you know what? I bet there's a, there's a ceiling mannequin. That's why I keep hearing things. Okay, there we go. Wait, what? Oh, here, this is what I need. Oh, I didn't realize it's a save thing in here. Maybe this actually is a safe room, and they just keep <laughs> having ambient sounds to freak me out. Uh, I'm more worried about the ceiling mannequin. Okay, so that opened up the serpent door. And the worst thing the, man the ceiling mannequin can do is jump scare me. Which isn't the end of the world, I guess. I'm guessing kind of like regular mannequins, they're going to warn me when I see one. Like, you briefly see it before it climbs up. No. No, come back here. No! There's a ceiling mannequin! Oh, the worst part is the ceiling goes too high for my flashlight to reach. So they're just like, out there in the abyss somewhere.
A reminder to all guards, effective immediately, it is absolutely mandatory for everyone to familiarize themselves with the revised generator maintenance manual. We will all remember what happened last time there was a spike, though I'm certain most of us would much want to forget. We will not have another accident. Oh, dang it. Ran away. Be nice if I just tie a weight to this handle. Hello. I don't like that the switch is over here either. I'm wondering if I can just run through here and then force it to come and attack me. Did I get it? It's still alive. Oh, I see you. Ha! Oh, there's more than one of you? That is mean. There was a third body. Now my radio is just going to permanently be on the fritz. I like it when the ceiling's low, because then I can see. Oh, there's a safe room in there. Oh, wait, no, is that... Have I been there before? No. I hate how it takes me time to go to open up these doors, too. I bet there's more ceiling mannequins. Actually, it feels like they only jump from, like, the walls and not the ceiling. Every time I say this game isn't very scary, they find new ways to keep up the ante, so good on them. Like having this place be extremely dark. It's definitely one way to do it. Yeah, and it's, it's less even like, not even scary, it's just more like survival instinct, which I guess is part of the fear.
I want to finish exploring the big room before I deal with this room. Can't even hear them skittering on the wall. I hate those ambient sounds. So it makes it sound like something's walking towards you. There must be an enemy in one of these cells. By what I'm hearing. Oh, hi! Oh, I hate these ceiling mannequins! Did you climb back on the ceiling? Oh, no, you don't. No, you don't! so silent when they come down from the ceiling to get you. I hate that. Oh, come on. Where are you? I thought I saw another one drop down here too. Open any of these. I hear something. Now I really don't have a choice. Wait, E4 was openable? Oh wait, I was in there, yes. I think I got most of the ceiling mannequins though. Awful. Okay, now I can do this. This probably opens like all the doors. Safety instructions, power transfer levels, green, maintenance level, use to test before each use. Yellow, optimal level, maintain for safe operation. Red, danger level, do not operate, can result in power spike and system overload. What do I do? Oh, it's a puzzle like this. So I want it to overload? All the enemies just got released. Are they coming for me? This is a good place to camp out and wait for them to come, but... There weren't that many, though. Oh, I, I, I can't go this way. Are they all coming for me? I can 
hear them. I don't know where they are. Oh, hi. Well, there's two. There's, there's a bunch. Too bad they can't friendly fire themselves with the with their explosions. Wait, I only killed two. Where's the third one? Where'd the third one go? There's only two bodies. Did he, like, de-aggro for me? It's kind of nice this gate closed. I saw the other one duck into the room. Half of these rooms have nothing in them. I think you're slick. I guess that's why some of the rooms let you look into them, so you can, like, get ready. I think I got rid of the ceiling mannequins early. <laughs> what am I doing on bullets too? I should I should check that periodically. One fifty nine. Okay, excellent. I think I should be good now since I did so much melee earlier. Okay, I'm in the corner room. Some of the rooms let me kill the guys earlier. Unless one of these rooms had a ceiling mannequin in it, which would have been awful. Kinda nice though, I can these ones I can see through the bars. I guess it was to be expected to have a prison area, have a jailbreak kind of thing. Oh no, you don't. Well, the crawling mannequins seem to have more HP than the regular ones by like an extra hit or two. Actually, no, mannequins actually. I'm mistaken with the. Flashbacks. The flashbacks have like two or three hits. The mannequins usually take like three or four.
All clear. Execution DRA8 reports. Prisoner E662, age 23, male, method electrocution. Witnesses zero. Note to medical staff. During last night's execution, the prisoner, assumed to have been disabled, simply stood up and approached the chair without any assistance. From now on, take utmost care when reviewing the prisoner's medical history. Guard need, guards need to be made aware how capable the prisoners are in order to avoid any incidents. Ooh, that's kind of, kind of a good, like, horror story kind of creepy thing, like one that they think is all disabled just suddenly gets up and starts doing stuff and well in this case he got executed but maybe starts like attacking the staff or something like that Oh, I can get the rifle now. Which room is this? Witness checkpoint. The ceiling. I hate that I have to check the ceiling now for enemies. In the center of Silent Hill lies the town's major tourist attraction, Toluca Lake. But there's a darker side to the scenic, beautiful reservoir. What may seem a bread and butter local ghost story you've heard time and time again, in this case rings surprisingly true. One fateful bog found November day in 1918, a tourist cruiser called Little Baroness has set sail, never to dock again. Newspaper articles reporting the event contain no details of the ship's disappearance. Despite an extensive police search, neither a single fragment of the ship nor the remains of the passengers or the crew have ever been recovered. But in 1939, an even more bizarre incident has taken place. Many pages are missing, torn out. Who knows how many souls were taken by the waters of Toluca Lake? Do the eyeless skulls of the damned stare hopelessly at the surface from below, yearning for a breath, or was their mysterious fate different altogether? Good, I'm out of that area. I've been here before, right? Oh, this is a safe area. Well, I have the rifle, but now what? Not like that lets me access a new location. Unless, oh, maybe I need to switch the weights in the yard. Like if I do... I did a small on the left and a large on the right. What if I swap them? So I did the serpent. There's also, there's also a staircase that I can't access. I think it's worth a sh worth a shot. Again, where did Eddie go? And how's he surviving? I still didn't kill the mannequin in this area. Oh, there's two. No, you don't. Oh, there's like a whole bunch of crawlers.
There's a whole bunch of them. There was one like way down here, but I think he's gotten away. That's okay, I guess. Oh, I don't like that. The fact that they look so spidery too is awful. Oh no. So you're not getting away. Oh, come on. Oh, you... How did you get there? Ow! Was that the same one I shot over here? It must have been. There's still one more on this side. Oh, hi! They're so acrobatic, too. No big deal. How am I doing on bullets? We're actually really fine on bullets. But there's still another one. I hear it. Hey, Key Energy, welcome to the stream. Thanks for stopping by. You know what? I can, I'll leave it. Just one enemy. So we did the serpent door. Wait, that doesn't open anything. Was I supposed to pick up another weight in the other room? I hope not. see it. Just run through. Where are you? Oh, here. Oh wait, you're a flesh bag. You're not a ceiling mannequin. I didn't read this. This cell is to be cleaned up by Tuesday. Make sure you get the cons to do it by then. The previous tenant has been moved to death row as per the warden's order. Okay, I'm gonna double check to make sure I didn't miss anything.
Oh. There was a weight on the electric chair that I didn't see. I need to go back. I should have figured there would be something on there. I was just too busy worrying about that alarm. Backtrack quite a bit. Oh, I have to go through here again. Gosh darn it, Kiro. There's an enemy here? I thought I got rid of all of you. Where are you? But I killed everything in here. This way, right? Wait, you're still alive? Wait, you, you're the one that disappeared. There's another one, isn't there? Oh god, wait! Why are all of you alive? I killed all of you, didn't I? Oh, I shouldn't get close. I thought I killed all of them. Maybe certain ones respawn and certain ones don't. Yeah, these they just drop dead again. I don't think they're actually dead. That was annoying. Maybe I only need, maybe I don't need all three. I definitely need the medium one. Seriously? Okay. 
Okay. The medium weight on the left and both on the right. Did I do that? Guess not. Hey, that's not what. Hey, that's not right. Oh, it's the other way around. Yeah, this this guy is wrong again. What did I just open? The ox. to the end of cell block A. You're back again? Why do they keep respawning these things every time I come through? Unless this thing just was always here and I just never... Does that mean every time I go through here they're just gonna respawn all the enemies? Very kind. No, I must have I must have just missed killing that one, I think. Watch the ceiling. Aha. They're fast. Like drop down really quickly too. Oh, again, like these areas are so large. I don't like it because there's so many cells as well, which means that there's a lot of places to check. I saw another one on the wall. What's this? Wait, is this where- this is not where I came from. It was. I got very disoriented there. We know it's not. I came from this way. Oh, no, I didn't. Oh, I got very disoriented. Oh, yeah, because I ran in. Okay. It is bad to take when they own. They said they own. When one does own, the other can't take, but I cannot own. Should the warden take? No, he shouldn't own again. I will take. I will own. This one stays on for a long time.
Wasn't expecting that to open. Skittering. Oh, you. Bad. Cell block D. Sunday morning route. Disruption reported. C140 yelling about C777 haunting him. Claims bars can't hold him. Administered sedative to C140. Noon lockup. Performed precautionary search of C777 cell D5. No traces found of the prisoner leaving his cell unsupervised. Recommend further psychiatric evaluation of C-140. Afternoon route. C-140 and C-777 missing from their cells. Alarm raised. Search in effect. Update. Bathroom door barred from inside. Efforts made to get them open. We don't hear anything from the other side. Evening lockup. Oh, I couldn't even go into cell block D earlier. Yeah, I've been doing good. It's just been a lot of uh, fighting and puzzles. It's a little tedious right now. Also, we have ceiling monsters now, so that's great. Well, this opens back to here. That's a shortcut, sweet. Does that mean I couldn't open the door to cell block C from the other side? This is too narrow for sealing enemies, I think. I think I'm hearing enemies on the outside of the bars. Crawling around out there. Shame you didn't find it. Shouldn't you know better? Shouldn't you know this place better than I do? Now it's too late. I'm going for a walk. 
threatening note. Shiv key. What's that for? Oh, there's one cell that's locked. I bet I have to open C4 with it then. Oh, I also can't get into the toilets, right. Saw someone walking around past lights out. Again. Whichever one of you that was, do I need to remind you, you must never leave your post without prior clearance. Next time I catch you, I'm reporting you to the warden. Oh, this is upstairs from here, so it's the same skittering guy that I saw earlier. Oh. Coming, I know he is. The bars, the walls, they can't hold him. He'll get in. He'll get in. I still have time. I can still I can make it almost through. He's close. I can feel it. He's coming. To finish it. The spider enemy. I hate it when he goes on his belly and I can't see because the light goes down. It's definitely a bug. I hear a bug. Okay, good. Doesn't look like there's anything else. Unless there's a mannequin in here. <laughs> I knew one day there'd be an enemy inside a stall. Well, thank you for the stretch, Granoli. I appreciate it. You guys at home, make sure you take the chance to stretch as well. Straighten up your back, sit up straight in your seat. The fact that I opened the door and it was just like, there. Why well, don't trust you? I hate it when I go into a room and there's an enemy already dead on the ground that I did not kill. Because then I know it's going to get up at some point, but I can't preemptively kill it. And I don't know what, like, will trigger them. And if there's a lot of them, then it really sucks, because that means they're all probably going to get up at once. Okay. Actually, you know what? I can melee her. Oh, there's so many of them. Oh, there's so many of them on the ground. I can't- I'm not gonna be able to kill all of them. I need to get what I need from here and then run. Just, I don't know what triggers them to get up. Oh, great, another hole. It's your favorite, James. Again, I have to press the, the prompt like three times until he finally... 
sticks his hand in. Item. Oh god. Oh god, let go of me. I need healing. I need healing really badly. No! There's so many! Oh, you can't get me now. That would suck if they could like grab your legs or something. Well, I shouldn't have used the health drink because now that I can open my menu, I can do the syringe. Oh, there's probably a whole bunch of them now in here. Okay, let's plan my escape. Wait, are they coming through? No. Okay, I need to go to the left. I'm not sure if the syringe heals me completely. But it heals me a lot, and I think it's pretty much up to full. If, if it's not like completely, it's like very high. there. Oh, it's just you. Okay. I thought those two enemies. Oh, I don't like this. The fact that every time you go back to this area, new enemies have been spawned in. That's kind of new for this game so far. Oh, I've only done like two out of four of the doors though. This place is bigger than I thought. Yeah, I definitely will need two more streams after this to beat the game. I thought I could do the game in this stream and next stream. I don't think that's going to be the case. I thought the prison was going to be shorter. I knew the historical society area was short, but... I, wait, I got... Oh, there we go. Okay, so I have another heavyweight. So I have I have the snake and the ox, so I need to tilt it all the way to one side. Oh, no, that's too much. Maybe I can't do that one yet. The, the shower room wasn't bad at the beginning when all the things got up, but then the fact that they had three barring the exit is what really got me. So I just opened the boar room. Oh, I see you.
am I doing on bullets? I'm more wary about them now that... In the last stream. Oh, I see you. You're trapped in there, there's nothing you can do. There's another dude in there too. Oh, you came you came around. Oh god. I learned my lesson. Wait till all the gunk disappears that you're walking through. Sunday, morning route. Incident at the infirmary. D-183 assaulted medical staff, attempted to steal medication. Situation under control. Noon lockup. Rumors of disease spreading among the prisoners. Reported to administration. Afternoon route. E-130 had a coughing fit. Reported to medical staff. Evening lockup. I see your limb sticking out of the wall here. Spooky. That guy went all the way around just to get me. He walked all the way around. Wait, that might have been a different dude. Is this door? I don't think they can open the door. Old man's always prepared. There's nothing else in this room? Oh, this ammo. Dude on the ceiling. Or could have been someone in the in the room behind me from which I came. I think there's a ceiling mannequin getting close. This long hallway with a bunch of booths I can't see through. Oh, these aren't booths, they're like visitation chambers. Oh, oh right. Okay, this is visitation. No one on the ceiling? Oh, I can jump through the window. Guards think we're lepers now. Don't know why, but they stay away. I don't complain. Well, they trick them into thinking that they're all diseased. Oh, you can go through. That makes it easier for me to kill you. This area seems a little more straightforward than the last two, but I don't imagine they're going to make it easier as I go. Oh, just a 
bug. Shot her in the butt. She's running around. I don't need a bullet. Oh god, there's more. Bullet melee combo. Oh. The safe room. I'm wary of seeing mannequins in the stalls now. Although that one didn't like immediately attack me when I opened the door, so I think they like wait a second. Occupied. What was that? Lauren? Not Lauren. Angela. Surely there's not a mannequin in the safe room, right? Reap what you sow. Why is there a staircase on the other side? Oh, because this this isn't a cell. I thought it was a cell. He locked himself in, took the key. None of the CO's got a spare, but I know there is one. He was going nuts over the disease, see if the head nurse doesn't have it. Thinks he's safe up there, he'll get what's coming. Regarding the emergency medical examination report, the report's conclusions are incorrect. The prisoners are sick. Examinations are to be repeated until their condition is properly diagnosed. Use more invasive methods if necessary. We must know the true nature of this affliction. All else is secondary. No ceiling enemies. Ugh. Again, the fact that I have to look out for those things is awful. Oh, this just goes here, okay. Oh, there's a bunch of them.
New rules of conduct effective immediately. Guards are to keep their distance from the prisoners at all times. Any attempts of approaching the guards by the prisoners are to be met with immediate disciplinary action. Prisoners are to be confined to their cells until further notice. I dodged that pretty good. Oh, I should have gone through here to attack them. There's still another one in there. Oh. Nope. Let's see those items. I guess the sneak attacks really do do more damage. It's just so hard because if you want to sneak up on them, you gotta walk, which means you don't like you move at like a snail's speed. And I'm so afraid they're gonna turn around and see me, so then I sprint, but then that causes them to to detect me. Repeat examination report conclusions. None of the examines show any clinical sign or symptom of a life-threatening illness, contagious or otherwise. The recommended endurance tests were also performed. The results have been submitted directly to the warden as per his specifications. It's so weird they put the safe station in the washroom here. Why not put it in the office? What awaits me up here? Oh, I'm on the other side of where the cells were before. Oh, good, that means there's a shortcut. Thank goodness. As long as I have to, don't have to do another section, like the shower room section again, for a bit. Okay, I, I guess I got out of that pretty unscathed for the most part. But this is above the chapel. I see you. Wait, where did that thing go? Was it a crawler? Oh no, hi. Okay, so that goes back to where it was before. Oh, I go up another floor. I was half expecting to see a mannequin around the corner there. A 
Uh, but then again, the first area had the shower section, or the, the prison break section, and then this section has the... Or the okay, first it was the prison break, then it was the shower room. So there must be some kind of, like, gimmick with what's gonna happen in this room, right? Hey, Warmon! Welcome to the stream! Thank you so much for stopping by. Good to see you. Also, it seems like they have more save stations in this section of the game. What do they want from me? Six, 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 Wait, should I be doing this in lower case? Oh, no, easy. There's all oh, those enemies coming. Anything else on this floor? Oh, that's it. Okay, sweet. Oh, there's one entire section we haven't been to yet. That's the last door. Okay, but everything else we've been to. So I think we're getting close to finishing the prison. Oh, I bet when I go in here, there's gonna be new enemies. So we just need a dove. Why, why did this door not open? Wait. Oh, because it's not activated by the scales. Be on the lookout for new enemies. I don't like that, I just keep hearing some more squelching. So we want the dove, so we want most of the weight on this side. We're definitely going to need both of the light weights. Oh, easy. Dove room is directly on my left. Oh, you. Ah! Oh, there's two. Ow, you still hit me. I probably don't even need to kill these guys. But I feel like I should, because this is an area I've walked through a lot. Okay, 
Okay, so now we're in the basement. Great. Of course they saved the basement for last. It's gonna be the worst one. Oh, great. Of course. Oh, there's water down here. Great. There's no light switch. A bunch of key items here. I should check this last. I think there's a crawling enemy. comfy. Wait, no you don't. Well, this room just looks uncomfortable to stand in. Wasn't expecting that to open. Maybe I should go examine all those paintings, because where does this go? Burning Man. Four hundred thirty six people at a recital. Woman in flight. Who keeps screaming? Like, is it the mannequin enemies that are screaming? Well, there's a ladder in there. It's like, do I check out the ladder first or do I go through here? Let's check out the ladder. <laughs> Or is the screaming just part of the ambient noises? Where is this? I just saw an autosave go off. I still got hit by that! Seriously? I was standing far enough away, I thought. Where am I? Oh, I'm back here, okay. This is good.
No, get off me. You know, I'll do I'll go back to the health supplements now. Cuz I have so many. Right in the crotch. Sweet. One bullet, then the melee. Oh, there's another one. God damn it. No bullets. Who's that? Who's that rumbling? <laughs> Sounds like a demon talking. But Pyramid Head doesn't have a voice. Due to recent acts of inmate violence, prisoner D239 has been transferred to solitary confinement cell F6. We've already been there, though. Oh no, that was locked. I bet there's new enemies coming from those rooms. I just opened. Oh no, these are these rooms. I'm trapped in here. I'm sorry, I'm so sorry I couldn't let them take you and now you're... Uh-oh. What do I do? What do I do? Do I just wait until a cutscene activates? Do I just die? Oh, it's open. The scare was for naught. <laughs> oh, the light won't turn on. Wait, why is the light moving? Why is the light zooming around? Book it. Just book it. Oh, the... The ceiling... 
the roof got lifted from the yard. Okay, the, the first two animal doors were the harder ones, and then the second two were easier, which is kind of weird. Wait, why do I need another weight? Oh, I want to- oh, I need to get it in the middle. So let's put a lightweight... Select this one. No. Uh, maybe I don't need to put all of them on. Those are the same, so that doesn't make sense. What? Okay. I mean, the guide hasn't been super helpful so far, but let's see. I think I need to put them all back here first, so I know which one's which. Oh, I thought I had duplicates. No wonder it was confusing. I thought I had like two heavies, two lights, two mediums, but they're all actually like slightly different. That's not right. Again, this guide is not really completely accurate, it seems. What if I put... Like this. Seriously? <laughs> Two lightest weights on the left scale, along with the second heaviest. Lightest. Second heaviest. See, that's not right. Oh, unless they want me to do the reverse.
Because the last time this guide mistakenly told me the wrong combination, they, it was the reverse. So maybe they wrote it in reverse. Like they mixed up their left and their right, maybe. I don't think it should- it shouldn't matter because I'm trying to balance the middle, right? That doesn't make sense. What if I try the two lightest with the heaviest? I think it's this one. Because they have a picture of the solution, but the, the picture does not match... The picture does not match the written description. Well, that was <laughs> dumb. I mean, the puzzle wasn't dumb, the... The guide was dumb. The picture was correct, but the written description... Misled me. Okay, now this part we gotta think a little bit. So this is a puzzle, and apparently the answer to this puzzle is it changes every playthrough. So we actually have to think through this one a little bit. So there's... Okay, there's six poems, and then there's six poems down here we got to match them to. For your grace I do not plead, for the flames I did set free. Sisters shrieked, and children cried, no one made it out alive. So that one has to do with burning. That one mentions nuns as well, but... Though the young ones' deaths I mourn, their tormentors are no more. Your grace, I do not plead, for the flames I did set free. Sisters shrieked and children cried. So it, the, that one seems to go with this one, but I, the fact that it's the first and the first one... Though the young one's death I mourn, the tormentors are no more. It, this one, it makes the most sense to go with this one. The wealth of others I did take, the seventh statue did I break. Yet my deeds I don't regret, I had my reasons. That is that. So that one person stole. Hey Cole, welcome to the stream. Thanks for stopping by. You were oh so kind to me, filled my heart. And then, okay, that doesn't make sense. That one doesn't make sense. This one makes the most sense. So the wealth of others I did take, the seventh statute I did break, yet my deeds I don't regret, I had my reasons, that is that. I departed with great haste, leaving not a single trace. Ever faithful to my creed, all is right, which feeds my greed. I took the child, and you are quite right, carried her off into the night. She did not scream, she did not bawl, I was her father, after all. It has to be this one. My only daughter, joy of days, they wanted to take you away. Hush, little baby, and be still. If I can't have you, no one will. Once the sun has ceased its reign, I cut through the rusty chain. 
pushed the door and snuck within, filled my pockets to the- wait. This one also sounds like it goes with the thief one. Well, let's see what else we have left. Hmm. I might go with this one, actually. Oh, you know, I think it's this, yeah. This one goes with this one. Filled my pockets to the brim, I departed with great haste, leaving not a single trace. Ever faithful to my creed, all is right, what feeds my greed. So this one is, I had my reasons, that is that. So that must go with, what were those reasons you might ask? That makes more sense. What were those reasons you might ask? The truth allow me to unmask. I see, I crave, I need, I take. Tis all the sense it needs to make. Uh, mommy dearest, mommy sweet. Your love for me was so deep. Why, oh why, you shouted out. When my knife pierced through your heart. No, I didn't mean to. You were oh so kind to me, filled my heart with joy and glee. In the end, it was for naught. Why, oh, why, you ask? Why not? I waited long, I bid my time, I wanted to. I waited to commit my crime. The man appeared, he saw me not. A bloody end is what he got. In truth, he was less man than beast, and on my flesh and soul he'd feast. My will to live, he tried to break. There is so much a man can take. I'm gonna save before I finish this puzzle, because there are consequences. I'm confident that we match up the right ones to the right ones. Okay, so... Pull ye but once on a rope's frayed end. Choose the one justified from among the damned. Seek out their tales, think upon each sin. Or let blind faith choose, let the judgment begin. Okay, so this one, again, this solution is randomized on your playthrough. What we have to do is there's six people's stories here. One of them was justified in what they did. And therefore... Well, I mean, they're all gonna hang. We have to pick the one that was justified for their reason. So in other words, that they did it for some kind of good reason. And if you pull it wrong, James falls into a pit of monsters, and you have to fight your way out. And then you come back and you have to try again. And if you get if you keep getting it wrong, it'll throw you down into the pit, but if you killed all the enemies down there, then they won't respawn. But if you get it right, then you just proceed. So let's read. So this one's saying that, okay, so this one's saying that they set the church on fire, children and the nuns died, but the nuns were preying on the children. So, is that justified enough? Because there's a few other ones here. So this one says, they had their reasons, something about unmasking the truth, but they they don't tell us any more. So it's like, they had a justification, but they don't tell us what it is. This one... So the man stole his daughter. She didn't scream or cry from it. Someone wanted to take her away. But then he says, if I can't have you, no one will. That's... that's concerning.
This one, the person just stole because they were greedy. This person killed their mom. For seemingly no reason. This person killed a man, but the man was... Beastly. And was trying to break him, so... They killed someone because that person was... Doing something bad to them. Like, I'm not sure... It is a ju it is a justification, but it is but like what define the word justified? Like again, like this person, the nuns were doing something bad, but they also killed the children. So like I think this one's the most Silent Hill, quote unquote, justified. This one is. The last line just unnerves me. And this one, the person doesn't say what their reasons are, so I don't think this one... I don't think number two is it. So it has to be... I think it's number one, three, or six. Six... It sounds like a person's, like, personal judgment against one man. It's like that man was... Oh, he was more beast than man, so I killed him. But I don't think that's quite justified, even if it did say the guy was trying to break him. And this one, ugh, but he takes his daughter. I wonder if there's any hints I can read about. One of the six condemned prisoners was justified in committing their crime. The six prisoners include an arsonist, a thief, a man who kidnapped and- oh, a man who kidnapped and killed his daughter, a vandal, a murderer, and someone who killed their mother. Each one is described with a short poem. So, the man kidnapped and killed his daughter? Oh yeah, because hush little baby be still, if I can't have you, no one will. So he kidnaps his daughter and then kills her. So that's not justified. The solution's random. There's a chance that any of them will turn out to be the one justified. And the poem will change between runs to reflect that. I think it's the I think it's the arsonist. What do you guys think? I wonder if there's like a more in-depth guide to this. Cuz I don't want to fight my way out of a pit of monsters. I kind of don't. Um goose puzzle, I guess. Okay, so, I think it's the arsonist, and I think this one corroborates the answer. So I found another article that shows all the different possible things the, the things can say. So, in an alternate version of the arsonist one, it says, actually I'll bring it up. So right now it says this. So in the, in the other version of it, the second half says, I watched them burn, I heard them cry, I felt a soothing warmth inside. It felt so good, I cannot lie, and for my bliss, they had to die. So that sounds like the non-justified version. So the justified version is this one. Yeah, okay, I'm reading through some of the other ones, and we definitely have... I think that's definitely the... I'm pretty confident now it's the arsonist. So how do I select that one? Oh, I, I select here. So that is number one. I like this puzzle because it does have some reading comprehension involved with it. And a little bit of like deeper reading, because, like, the man doesn't explicitly say he kills his daughter, but then it's, like, implied. Now, if you change the difficulty to 
easy difficulty for puzzles, the the poems just have more plain text. And then on hard mode, the poems get very elaborate sounding. Okay, we are fine. And my map doesn't work, so we're in a new area. Great. Huh. Oh, 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 camera. Well, oh, I don't like that. If an enemy could slither out one of these, that'd be kind of cool. Oh, not another pit! James, why do you have to keep jumping down pits? Why? How far- how deep are we? We've jumped down like three pits. And we also descended that really long staircase. Is... Oh. The walls are all twisty. I guess it's just rock. Is that another pit? Did that jump down a second hole? Why? Why? James, explain. I knew it. I mean, that door probably didn't lead anywhere anyways. I thought the elevator was gonna fall, actually. Like a crash. Oh no. A safe station. Okay, but now we're back to a place that looks like it's a normal building. Well, normal for Silent Hill standards. Oh, you know what? I should have saved on a new file. You want know what? whatever. Okay, so this is now the labyrinth section of the game, which is quite long as well. So I think that's a good place to end it. Originally I thought I could do the prison and part of the labyrinth in one stream, but the prison turned out to be a lot longer than I thought, but not as long as the hospital, especially since we had to do the hospital and the other world hospital too. So I think we'll need two more streams to finish this game, one for the labyrinth and then one for the final area after that, I believe. Um, definitely getting better at this game in terms of, I mean, yes I did turn on the difficulty, but uh, I have a lot of ammo now, I'm also pretty good at medications. I've been pretty good at meleeing the monsters when we're outside on the overworld. Like, I dodged those things pretty well, I didn't use a single bullet for most of those enemies out in the... in the town, and... that was pretty good, and I've dodged most of those nurse attacks, so that's pretty... impressive, I think, I feel good about that. I do like that they, again, introduced a new thing in the prison, it was darker than all the other areas in the game, 
On top of that, we also now have enemies on the ceiling, which sucks, but also adds an extra depth of stuff to it. Also, we saw those, I forgot, we saw those enemies that are under the grates as well. I'm sure we're going to see those again. So yeah, I think it's like, the game is fun, and it's not really frustrating to the point anymore. I mean, I, I didn't really get frustrated at most times in this game, but having those couple parts where I was very low on medication during stream 1, and when I was very low on bullets during stream 3, I think were kind of the toughest sections. But now that I've learned to manage my resources better, I think I'm doing much better. But it is a game that's like, I think it's so far, again, it's a really good remake, and I think they definitely captured the essence of Silent Hill. They made it so long, though, which is good, because if you pay money, you get your money's worth. But it is very tiring to play for hours on end, I think. I feel, like, mentally exhausted after each of these streams. They're fun, but when I'm finished, I'm like, oh, I need to take a break now. <laughs> like, not like Resident Evil, where I could just keep playing and playing and playing and playing and playing, because it's just so fun and action-y. It's a different type, but again, I think any any horror game where you can fight back against the enemies and kill them has a different level of fear than a horror game where you can't fight back at all, like like Amnesia, The Dark Descent, or Soma, or what still wakes the deep. Games where you can't fight back at all have a different level of fear than ones where I do have a gun, even if the resources are limited, but I can still fight back, right? So... But again, that is what Silent Hill is. So I'm not saying they should have done something completely different. I'm just saying it's a type of it's a different type of horror, right? Yeah, and it makes sense. Silent Hill is a place that is supposed to be mentally straining on the person going in. So I think they capture that quite well. So we're going to continue playing this game tomorrow and on Sunday. I'm going to finish it and then on Monday that means we can start Metaphor Refantasio or at least pick it up from where the demo left off, I guess is more accurate. But thank you so much for joining me here. I hope you guys are enjoying Silent Hill with me, whether you plan to play it or you're just enjoying watching me go through it because horror games aren't your thing. Thank you so much for all your support. I really appreciate it. Let's find someone to raid. And seems like there's a few people playing. Oh, let's raid Aru. He's playing Okami. I love Okami. Let's go say hi to him. I'll see you guys tomorrow for more Silent Hill 2 Remake. Thanks for stopping by. Bye, froggy friends.